Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create scroll depth events in Google Analytics 4. So the objective here is we want to track the different scroll levels as someone is actually moving down the website. So what this means is, for example, someone is going to land on my website and then the user is going to scroll down. So we want to create events that have to do with tracking this action. For example, we want to understand how many people scroll down to 25% of the website, 50%, 75%, and so forth. How are we going to do this? The first step is to come here to Google Tag Manager. So you need to have a Google Tag Manager, and Google Tag Manager needs to be inserted in all the pages of your website. This is a prerequisite. And from there, before you get started, very importantly, you're going to come here to your Tag Manager. You're going to click on Variables on the left. Once you click on Variables, then you're going to go all the way right and click on Configure. And here we are going to toggle on everything. But most importantly, when you scroll down, you need to toggle on everything that is under scrolling. So the built-in variable that we will need to track the scroll depth is going to be scroll depth threshold. This is the variable that we will need to set up this event. So once we do this, obviously you toggle this on and now we are ready to create our event. So how are we going to create this event now? We are going to start with creating a trigger this time, not really the tag. We're going to start with the trigger. So we're going to click on trigger and we are going to create a new trigger. And we're going to call this trigger scroll threshold. Threshold, okay, that's it. So we're going to click on trigger configuration and we're going to go and click on scroll depth here. So we're going to select scroll depth. Once you select this trigger now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on vertical scroll depth here and we're going to see this box that is called percentages, right? And here, grayed out, we have 10, 25, 50, 75, 90. So what we want to do now is we want to click on this box and basically write down the thresholds that we want to measure in Google Analytics 4. So let's say 10% scroll, 25% scroll, 50, 75, 90. So this is what we're going to do. and we are going to not really touch anything else. This trigger fires on all pages. So this is exactly the setup here, and you're going to save this trigger. Now that we saved this trigger, we're going to go to Tags, and we're going to create a new tag. So we're going to click on New. We are going to give this tag a name. So I'm going to call it GA4 Event uh, Scroll Threshold. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on Tag Configuration here and we're going to select Google Analytics GA4 event. Once you select Google Analytics GA4 event, under the Configuration tag, you are going to select GA4. Or if this is the first time you're doing this job, you need to put your measurement ID here. Quick note, your measurement ID can be found in Google Analytics Admin data streams. This is where you're going to find your measurement ID. If this is the second time you create events, the system will remember your measurement ID. This is the case here for my tag manager. And therefore, I'm going to select GA4. Now we're going to give this event a name. There is one small peculiarity, I would say, or thing that uh, we need to do here. Right. So we want to create multiple events for the different thresholds. So what I want to do basically is I want, when I go to my Google Analytics 4, I want to see an event that is relevant to users who scroll 10% of my site, another event that is relevant to users who scroll 25%, another one for 50%, and so forth. So we're going to give this event a name. We're going to call it scroll. We're going to put underscore. And here you're going to click this button, and you are going to select from the built-in variables. So you're going to click here on build-ins and you are going to select 
here, scroll depth threshold. And this is exactly how we're going to name this event. So what is going to happen here is that as this event is going to fire, there are going to be different events created in GA4 for every scroll depth threshold, for example, 25, 50, 75, 90%. Right? So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to attach the trigger that we created. So we already created a trigger. That is the scroll threshold, right? So we're going to save. And now we are going to submit and publish our Google Tag Manager to send the changes live. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to verify that whatever we did here is actually working. And in order to do that, we're going to click on Preview. And I'm going to preview here my own website. I'm going to connect. So here we have my website. And it is connected to the Tag Assistant. And here I have my Tag Assistant. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here to my website connected to the Tag Assistant. And I'm going to start scrolling. And I'm going to scroll, 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 scroll all the way to the bottom. So now if I go to Tag Assistant, you see here on the right-hand side, we have the scroll depth events that they show up, right? So this tag is firing now, which means that basically what we did succeeded. And why we have one, two, three, four scroll depth events? Because what we did basically is we gave different scroll thresholds to the system, right? So one more time, maybe to re recap everything, job number one, you're going to come to your Tag Manager, you're going to go to Variables. And then once you go to Variables, you are going to click on Configure. You are going to enable, basically here, the scroll depth threshold. Ideally, just enable all the built-in variables. Job number two, you're going to go to Trigger. You're going to create a new trigger. And when you create this new trigger, this is exactly how you're going to configure it. You're going to select Scroll Depth. You're going to check Vertical Scroll Depths. And under percentages, you're going to put the percentages that you want to track. And in terms of the event now, we are going to create multiple events. One event for every scroll threshold, right? So what we're going to do basically here is we're going to create a tag. So this is the tag that we created. We're going to give our measurement ID or select GA4 if this is the second time we're building an event. The event name is going to be scroll underscore scroll depth threshold is going to pull automatically 10, 25, 50, and so forth. And we are going to attach our trigger. And last, you're going to preview and see if it is working as expected. Now, you can also create an event on just one scroll depth threshold, let's say 50%. In this case, you don't need to actually put in this uh, variable here in the event name. And you don't need to put all the percentages under the trigger, right? I think you get the logic. The instructions can also be found in the video description because this is actually quite cool to do in Google Analytics 4 and slightly, I wouldn't say that is a hassle, but slightly different than, let's say, creating other events. I hope you are able to do exactly the same, follow the steps one by one, and you should be able to create your thresholds. And very importantly, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like the video. It really helps to create new content. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.